Hello everyone, it's time for our first episode of the month for Word Wednesday. I'm Jaja and you're watching Jaja Live. This is actually our very first December here on Word Wednesday. And since December is the month that we celebrate the birth of Christ on Christmas, we are calling this month's topic of discussion Christmas. Jesus is the reason for the season. Some might argue that this phrase has become cliche in our society and that consequently it's lost some of its true meaning. But despite our perception of the phrase or whether or not we feel that it is cliche doesn't change the fact that Jesus is the reason for the season. Isaiah chapter 9 verses 6 and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. In all actuality, to separate Jesus from Christmas is to have absolutely no Christmas at all. John chapter 1 verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet, to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning Him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said he who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son who is himself God, is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Christmas represents the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but it doesn't stop there. Christmas also represents the purpose of Jesus' birth, the celebration of his life, 
the necessity of his death and his triumphant resurrection. I am so excited for this month's Word Wednesday. I believe in the power of God and I believe in the power of God's Word. This month, God is going to bless us beyond measure. I believe that with all of my heart and I want you to be a part of it. Don't miss it. I'm Jaja, and this has been Jaja Live, and I will see all of you next Word Wednesday. God bless.